The City of Hillsborough's socioeconomic goals are to make a place for everyone. Affordable housing is so important in this area. The area that everyone thinks of is Oregon's Silicon Forest. For every engineering job that makes $100,000 a year, there's this trickle-down effect of people in the workforce. They were supporting that industry. And all those people aren't making the kind of money that provide enough funds to buy housing that's normally available out here. We were really talking a lot about how do we go beyond just providing affordable rents and provide what we were calling affordable living, meaning both affordable utilities, affordable rent, and the ability to have affordable transportation. Anchor Moisen was great in the fact that they really understood what we were trying to achieve. They also shared our goal and the mission of providing affordable housing because we needed somebody who could do both. Somebody who could do really innovative architecture, but also meet the objectives of our mission and provide affordable housing. We were able to take our experiences and our knowledge in sustainability design and push it to the next level, which is passive house design. Passive House is important on a global scale because it is the world's most energy efficient building standard. They use sips of energy where other buildings use gulps. And passive House focuses on three fundamental principles that would be basic to any energy efficient building. Insulation, air tightness, and heat recovery ventilation. And it maximizes those to the fullest extent possible such that you can effectively heat an apartment like this with a hairdryer. It starts really uh, on the technical side with the air tightness. The number that the project achieved was 0.13 air changes per hour. So that's in comparison to the requirement of 0.6 air changes per hour. So that's more than four times as tight as was required by the very high bar that was set by the passive house standards. We bring in 100% fresh air into our penthouse, and the penthouses sit on the roof, and they're inside the passive house envelope, and that's where our energy recovery ventilators sit. We bring fresh air into the ERV. It gets preheated and precooled by the exhausted air. They pass by each other in a heat wheel. So the fresh air comes in, gets preheated and precooled, is delivered through dedicated ducts all the way to each unit. Goes back up through dedicated ducts all the way to the energy recovery ventilator where it runs through the heat wheel again, gives off its energy before it's exhausted, and then that energy, of course, starts over the, the process. Another element that's really uh, fantastic about this project, I would say, is just the general quality and feel of the interior environment. We've brought in pieces of trees that we had to take down to build our project when we've used those to decorate our walls, to build furniture and lounge chairs in the lobby. We've used colors inspired by nature down the hallways. You walk down the hallway, each unit entry is done in a carpet and wall color that brings the colors of the seasons to each section of the corridor. Inside the units, the floors look like hardwood. The cabinets are a nice, modern, high-end finish. And we have Energy Star appliances that further our effort to make an apartment that is that much more energy efficient. We've shown all the other designers and other nonprofits and other housing developers that it's possible. I think there's just always a fear. You never want to be the first one. And we're happy to have taken it to this level at this scale and shown people that, yeah, it's possible for a small amount of extra financing or a little bit of extra effort. It really takes a group of a lot of dedicated people all kind of aimed at the same goals. And so we've been really, really lucky with the architect, contractor, construction management company, and the Passive House consultants to all really help us achieve this because we definitely could not have done it alone.